Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use custom CSS to change some of the styles of the mobile version of the product pages in your Squarespace 7.1 website. We're going to change up the text alignment specifically on mobile. We're also going to adjust the size of the quantity and variant options so that they're a little bit easier to navigate on a smaller screen. And I'll also show you a little bit of custom CSS that you can use to change the style or the appearance of the slide indicator on any product gallery images that you have. So if you have multiple images, there's a little number that pops up on a mobile device and we can make that look way cooler with some custom code. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to show you are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into my demo site and I'll show you exactly how they work. So here we are in my demo site and I'm going to click on the mobile preview option so we can see what this looks like on mobile. You'll see I've got the slide indicator up here. I've got quantity, add to cart, a bunch of text and then all the codes we're gonna to use today. So let's start with the first one, center all the text on mobile. I'm just gonna copy this right here and I'm gonna to navigate to design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS. That's where we're gonna paste our codes today. So here in my custom CSS panel, I'll just press control V and check it out. All of the text that is on that product page is now centered. Definitely an aesthetic choice. You might not wanna go with that one. So let's keep going with our codes here. What if you just wanna make the quantity full width so it's similar to the add to cart button? Right now, quantity is right there in the center and it's not as big as add to cart. So we can make that a little bit wider using this code. This also changes the variant option as well. So I'm gonna press Control C on my keyboard and we'll just paste it right here into our custom CSS. And obviously we just removed the center alignment text so everything's back to the way it was, but check it out. Our quantity box is now as wide as our add to cart button. We can also change the height of it here as well. I adjusted the padding to 0.2 REM, but we can make that say 0.5 if you want to be a little bit bigger, even 1.5 if you want it to be way bigger. Play around with that number so it looks perfect for your own site design. You can also add a background color here as well. Just toss in a little semicolon and add the text background color followed by the color code or website color name that you wanna use. I just mimicked the same gray from the images there. Again, that's just background color. That's all you need to add. So speaking of fun colors, that takes us to our next code. This one right here will change the color and style of this slide indicator. You notice that's a little bit difficult to see when it's that white text on that gray image. This is how we're gonna change it. I'm gonna copy this code out of my site. We'll paste it right here and let's scroll back up and let's make some changes. So I set it to background red, which you can obviously see is bright red. We can make that a little more subtle if we want to. Uh, we can also just make it a solid black so it stands out a lot more against that gray background. I added a little bit of a padding to it because if we don't have that line, I'll show you. let's remove that it's gonna be really close to those numbers, especially with that border radius I put in there. That border radius makes it perfectly round. We can also remove that if we just want it to be a square. So there we go. Now, if you wanna change the font size for that as well, totally an option, we can make it a little bigger. I just entered font size 20 PX, so you can see those numbers got a lot bigger. You can also change the font family here or anything else you'd like. Again, this is specific for the current slide indicator here in this product gallery, but this line at the very top limits this to just mobile, okay? Now let's say you wanna do all the things at once. All you need to do is make sure that all your codes are between the brackets for your media query. This says only apply this if the screen is 640 pixels in width or smaller. So any code that you want to apply to the mobile view of your products page, just make sure you add one last bracket to close this media query right here. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. All the codes I just covered are listed in the description below, and now you know how to change them. So you can copy and paste those into your own site and make all the adjustments that you wanna see. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. I created a PDF for Squarespacers that's packed with pro tips, code names, and style snippets specifically for Squarespace. Get the codes you need to make your site look incredible at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.